Hi, and welcome to another episode of Solar Briefs with Sunner. My name is Amir, and today I'm going to answer the question on our website about the differences between an active solar water heating system and a passive solar water heating system. Here behind me, you will see an active system. Whenever we use the, the phrase active in a solar water heating system, we are referring to an existence of a pump. As you can see in this example, the water is being pumped to the collector that's on the roof. It's get heated as it goes through the collector, it exits the top of the collector, comes back down and goes back to your storage tank. So whenever there is a pump involved, we call it an active system. Active systems can be either direct or indirect. Here to my left, there's a great example of a passive system. In passive system, you don't have any moving components. Basically, the ICS, which is, stands for Integrated Collector Storage, sits on the roof, gets filled with the city pressure coming in, heats the water, and for example, on the CP40, it's gonna be 40 gallon, and the CP20 is gonna be 20 gallon of water. It preheats it before it goes to your heater. So basically, there are no moving parts, there are no pumps involved in a passive system. I hope that answers your question. Until next time, have a good one.